Hey guys and welcome back to an other new DV theme builder series video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a product page template using the DV theme builder so if I come over here to this product page this is a sample product page so this is how it looks like and we'll be designing this whole thing from here and it will be looking much better than this one this is a very basic thing and no stylings overall and i personally hate this so let's get started with this video and see how to create a product page template using the dv theme builder so let's get started So first of all head over to your WordPress dashboard from there go to DV theme builder and here you will have to click on add new template and from here scroll down to this products section right over here and choose all products from here if you want to use this template on all of your products but you have other options as well that you can check out. So let's click on create template and from here we will have to create a custom body so let's click on it and then click on build custom body and now from here click on build from scratch and now you can start creating your product page template so first of all let's create a new row here and then let's put an image text here and you will get this two image module so we'll be using this woo images module here and then this is what we got here you can go to design option and then add some shadows to it so it will look better more more beautiful like that and have some border radius as well that looks good as well in my opinion so let's make it two column and i think you can put it on this side like that it will be a very basic template you can find out very awesome templates on elegant themes blog and let's put it uh, put a title text here and as you can see right over here we got woo title and you can go to design title text and change the font of this title so let's get uh, some cool like comforta looks cool make it bold change the size something like that and you can have fun with that and now you can put something like woo rating so let's put that here right over here and it's showing like that you can change the layout something like that in like inline looks good let's change the color of the stars to something like that and change the text color as well like that change its font and let's put it a little to up and looks good here and now here let's put a short description sorry no description and here you can choose short description and then go to design sizing make make sure that let's make it a little small so it will look better and now let's put a add to cart button here like that so here you can design every part of your add to cart area so if i click on this brush icon I can come over here to this design option and then change the text font I can change its weight 
but looks better at bowl and I can change the size I can make it capital and then that's it for this one and now we can style our drop down menus we can change the background color like that and we can also change the text color like that you can change the focus text uh, focus background color and something like that you can change the margin you can change the font of the drop down menu as you can see you can change the size a little big you can use the focus border as well but we'll be not using that you can have shadows which looks like that and you can make it a little small so it will look nice maybe at 10 and change the color to no let's make it 5 that looks better so now we can change our fields so this is a field right over here we can style that as well you can use focus border as well let's put shadow here where is that here it is it didn't got it I don't know the reason that it doesn't get the shadow on it so we can have border here like that and let's change the add to cart button stylings you can make it smaller you can make it bigger I think 20 is okay you can change the text color you can have background color you can remove the border net radius you can disable button icon which shows like that or let's put a card icon it is and change it to only show on hover that's how it's looking but it will be looking okay at front end you can have box shadow maybe like that and that's it so you can also have a background color to this section and gradient as well like that so let's create a circle here change it to radial you can change the end position and start position like that and change it to right and you can see right over here it's looking like that let's change the width looks cool here I like it here so now let's create a new section maybe like two column you can put reviews here like that these are reviews and here you can put something like so you can put something like wood tabs here and as we have got reviews right over here you can remove the reviews section from these tabs 
and now you can go to column setting you can have box shadow to this column let's do it like that make it a little transparent let's go to spacing and add some spacing here and it's looking cool let's add border and we got a really nice product page template here as you can see so let's style these things as well you can change the field background color field text color focus field background focus field text color you can play around padding you can change the text size you can have border that's what i want here let's put some border radius as well you can have shadows so let's use a focus border here and make it two pixel so when i click on the to write a review it will be two pixel in border so let's change this text here put it to the center make it big and you can change the font I think there should be a little spacing here so you can have that like that as you can see we have some spacing at right over here so let's change the star rating color to like that I think that's it and one thing left the button as you can see we got this button design here you can disable the button icon or you can have it as well So that's it I think and one main thing that I forgot here is the price so let's put that right over here like that go to design price text change its font the weight and make it bigger don't forget to change the size of it for the responsive websites so it will not look that bad I think okay here and sorry let's change the color to black maybe like that looks good here and change the alignment and have some spacing on the top like that and as you can see this is our product page template right now and if I save it and click on this close button and then click on save changes so this is how our product page was looking before and if I refresh this page so as you can see right over here this is how our product page is looking right now here we go the reviews right over here and when I want to put a review here the we got this two pixel border you can put your rating then click on submit button I think we need some spacing right over here and here we go the description 
we have removed the reviews from here we got this image and our description short description was short so short that it doesn't looking good here so i think that's a great way to create your product pages using the dv theme builder and there are so many other modules inside the dv builder or for the woocommerce that you can create a really nice product page template using team builder and i think there are 16 around 10 modules and uh, you can have a really cool product page template using it so i think that's it for this video and hope you guys have understand the idea uh, of how to create things in dv theme builder for product pages and that's it for this video and if you have any question about this this dv theme builder or want any new video on dv theme builder you can put your comment in the section below so thanks for watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can never miss any new video and hope you guys have enjoyed it and i'll meet you in the next one peace out